Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another cleaning tips video. Today I am going to talk through a few of the ways that I get motivated to clean the house. Yeah, basically tips that I've learned that motivate me, help me to get going. So I will get straight into it. I'm really sorry if you do hear a squeaky toy in the background. My dog Ralph is just sat down here behind me with his squeaky toy. So at least he's sat there nice and peacefully. I obviously don't want to take his toy off him. So you might hear the odd squeak every now and then. So I will just get into the 15 ways on how we can get motivated to start cleaning our homes. So I do just want to say that I am not like some cleaning expert or anything like that. I just enjoy cleaning my home and tidying. I also don't always feel like cleaning but it is an important part of keeping a home. With that being said, although it is important there is quite a lot of things that come in front of cleaning. It's not the biggest priority. Your health is more important. If you're not well or you've got children or you're feeling overwhelmed, your mental health is suffering then don't worry about it at all. It's more important to go out and get some sunshine and do things that are going to uplift you. And if you don't enjoy cleaning you couldn't think of anything worse and you've got the money to hire a cleaner get a cleaner like anything to make life easier because we already have so much to do so do not feel ashamed to do that so tip number one is to remember how it feels after you've done the clean so if you've cleaned in the past you might remember the dreaded thought of getting going but afterwards when it's all nice and clean and you can sit down on the sofa you know have your dinner watch the tv and you know your house is sparkling and you could eat your tea off the floor it's that clean it's such a nice feeling you can light your candles and you know you work for the day is done. That kind of goes for anything that you need motivation for as well. I always feel like this with exercising. It's never something I like jump out of bed to do but after I've done it I always feel so much better for it and you have to remember how that feels because you can't always count on motivation to do things. Of course he wasn't going to sit still for this video was he? <laughs> so tip number two to help get you motivated is to play some music or put your headphones in, listen to a podcast. So whatever your favourite tunes are and get them on and get them loud. Not too loud so that you annoy your neighbours or your headphones because then you can be a world away you know feel the rhythm dance while you're mopping when I end up playing really good music I end up just dancing a bit more than I am cleaning but if you're having fun then you know it's what life's about <laughs> anyway but yeah podcasts exercising, I don't know how exercising is coming to a lot of this cleaning video, and cleaning is a great time to listen to podcasts, listen to new music, so take advantage of it. If you feel like it's a really mundane task, think to yourself, how can I make this more exciting? And usually for me that is music or listening to an inspirational podcast or just a podcast that's really funny. So yeah, great ways to get you going. Tip number three is to put a cleaning video on YouTube, on the TV whilst you're cleaning. So it's kind of like you're cleaning together. So whoever your favourite YouTubers are, a lot of mine are like home, lifestyle, cleaning sort of content and often I'll be sat on the sofa and I might put a YouTube video on the TV and as soon as I see somebody else cleaning the house, organising, it just makes me want to do it straight away. So if you can have that on in the background, you know, whilst you're cleaning your living room or your space, you kind of feel like you're doing it with somebody and that can be motivating. And tip number four is basically to visit Mrs. Hinch's Instagram page. So I've followed Mrs. Hinch on Instagram for years now. I love watching her stories. It was probably a few years ago when I lived at home from watching her Instagram stories that I learned a few tips and tricks when it comes to cleaning and like good products to use and it's great because on Instagram you know a lot of the highlights are saved so you can go back if there's something that you want to check how to do but I must admit every time her Instagram comes up and I watch one of her stories it always makes me think like oh I should be cleaning that it kind of prompts me to get going and tip number five to get you motivated to clean is probably one of the biggest boosters you can do and that is to invite people over whether that's one person coming to visit or you're having a party nothing gets you cleaning like people coming to your house so invite you mum over, invite your grandma over, family, friends, you will suddenly be walking around your house thinking, oh my god I need to do that, I need to do that. Well I do anyway. And also if you know they're coming at a certain time, you'd be amazed at how much you can fit in in the short time before they arrive. Or you might even find that if you have family that come over every week, you automatically clean a little bit before they come on that day. And tip number six is to do a power hour or a power 30 minutes if that's all you've got. So many of us are very busy, you know you might have a full-time job, you might have a second job, you might have kids, and there always seems to be stuff going on and you're going to prioritise what it is that you want to do. So if cleaning is not something that you want to do, you're never going to find time to do it. Often anything that's not a priority on our lists, we don't find time to do. But if you can find 30 minutes, set yourself a timer on your phone and go and then just literally see what you can get done in 30 minutes. I always look at it as it's better than nothing and you'd be surprised how much you can do in even 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes when we allow ourselves too much time to do a task, we prolong the task to fit that time scale because in our minds we know that we 
have so much time to finish it so we'll just take a bit of a back seat now whereas if you've got a deadline and you feel a bit of a sense of urgency hence like people coming over you'll get it done so much faster and a power hour or a power 30 minutes setting a timer helps with that urgency of getting things done you can also make it like a bit of a game as well there's a bit of a fun one to try and then at the end of the 30 minutes or the half an hour you can reward yourself with something you know sit on the sofa and scroll social media or have a hot chocolate or whatever it is that if you sat there for an hour and didn't do anything you would feel guilty for doing if that makes sense I actually just went into the next tip there without realizing so the next tip was going to be to reward yourself so this is something I've started doing recently and it really helps me so instead of looking at a task in a big time block say you've got a project on that you're working on from 8 in the morning until 12 p.m for me that seems like quite a long time to concentrate like deeply concentrate so after about an hour I find myself kind of like a thought is drifting away with me so if you say to yourself after 45 minutes or one hour I'm going to give myself a five minute break and do something that makes me smile for me as sad as it sounds it's probably going to get a small glass of milk with a rich tea biscuit during the week if it was the weekend it'd probably be like a cookie or something that I've baked so whatever it is for you you know whether that's five minutes listening to music replying texting people back there is actually a great app called Flora you can set like a concentration timer and so that might be like 30 minutes and in that 30 minutes a tree will come to life on the app and if you lose concentration within those 30 minutes then the tree dies so it's quite a nice concept so you could set your timer for 30 minutes um, whilst you're cleaning and the tree will grow and if you've not gone off the app in the 30 minutes and gone onto something else like a different app or a different platform or whatever then the tree won't die and tip number seven to get our butts into gear cleaning is to do it with somebody so whenever I see somebody cleaning when I lived at home and um, whenever I'd see my mom like you know maybe looking through her clothes giving things to charity or I might see James's mom like cleaning or having to sort out that always to make me want to do it and then I'd often go into my bedroom and be like what can I sort out what can I clean <laughs> and often like now we have our own house if at the weekend I see James sorting out a drawer for you know 15 minutes I'm like oh what are you doing like oh it makes me feel like I need to do the same thing and again if you're doing it together it's just a lot more fun you'll both feel rewarded at the end or you could maybe buddy up with a friend and see if they want to get into like a bit of a cleaning challenge with you so I've seen some really good challenges throughout January online so you could both hold each other accountable and check in with each other to see you know when they've ticked off a certain things that they said they wanted to clear out in the new year and then my next tip is to just choose one room to start in or even one corner so if it feels too overwhelming you know you've not cleaned or you've not sorted out for a while pick a corner of a room and decide that you're going to tackle that spot today and then the next corner next week corner after that the week after and the corner after that the week after that and then within a month you know the whole room could be spick and span just start somewhere try not to think about you know the bigger picture like they say you don't need to think about the whole staircase you just need to take the next step forward so with cleaning the house don't think about cleaning the whole house because that is really overwhelming and you'll know when you start cleaning it feels like it's a never-ending job as you get close up to things you see more marks you see more dirt and you know and you could just keep going and going so just have an idea of where you want to start and then try and break it down into more manageable tasks so you could say to yourself three times a week I'm going to come into this room so it might be a spare room child's room whatever one day you might hoover the second day you might clean the windows the third day you might need to change the beds so you might need to clean the skirting boards small manageable tasks are much more attainable so the next tip kind of similar to setting aside a corner of a room or a room to start on this tip is to set aside a small amount of time each week so I have a daily a weekly and a monthly planner so I know where I have spare time throughout the week you know and I know on a Sunday I've got a lot more spare time slots than other days of the week so could you use you know one of those hours or even half an hour you know just to spend cleaning to get started maybe use that 30 minutes or an hour to tackle the bathroom somewhere where there's a lot of traffic which is generally the kitchen and the bathrooms you know something that used a lot that will need a clean but although we see lots of these spreadsheets and like templates online that tell us we need to complete this many tasks in a day this many tasks a week this many cleaning tasks a month spring cleaning you know if you're nowhere near that sometimes that can feel so overwhelming so make your own make a note of what's important to you to get clean first and whatever spare time you have out of your week start there but tip number 11 is one that I love and I actually use quite a lot since I heard about it a while ago and that is to change your mindset from oh I have to do this to I get to do this so instead of thinking oh I need to clean the bathroom and the toilet I like to think how lucky am I that I have a bathroom to clean I do this with all sorts of things in life but food shopping the things we do every week or tasks that we feel like you know a sort of a compulsory part of life can become mundane they can feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again a bit like Groundhog Day but being grateful helps change your mindset so much so just changing those words from have to to get to make a 
massive difference to me. You know, even like, oh, I have to go running tonight, or you don't have to do anything really. But you know, some of the cleaning products now is like, what a time to be alive. So maybe give it a go next time and see if it helps you feel any better. I try and think I'm so grateful for the house and I'm so lucky that I have a roof over my head and house to clean. That still doesn't mean that some days are a struggle to get going because naturally they are, but it does seem to help me a little bit. And tip number 12 is to take a visit to B&M or Home Bargains and buy yourself some new cleaning products. Because when I buy new cleaning products, I wanna use them straight away. There's something so exciting about it, bringing new cloths home, new minkies home, especially if I haven't tried it before and I might need to read some instructions, then I'm even more eager to try it. You, know, you see all sorts of viral products on the internet these days. I try and not buy excessive amounts of cleaning products. I try and use up everything that I've got first before buying more. But there's so many new things to try. Then if like, for example, if your carpets need a bit of a clean, buy some carpet freshener. They smell so nice. Try out a carpet cleaner. You know, you can buy carpet scrapers to get off all the bits up. So it's very satisfying. And if you do find a new product that's worth using, share it. Share it with your friends and family and online because it's so helpful when you find new products that do an amazing job. Number 13 is to make your house smell amazing. The smells make me want to clean. I feel like I talk about this a lot, but like Zafloras, there's quite a few. You can buy Dettol ones. There's so many sprays these days. You can make your house smell however you want it to smell. That could even be a reward for you. You could even think if I do 30 minutes of cleaning now, I'm going to go and buy myself a nice candle and I'm going to light that light through in a nice clean home. Tip number 14 is to work through like a downloadable or printable sheet slash guide you can get. There's so many out there online. But Mrs. Hinch is doing a January one at the moment. And when you're watching people also complete them online, it is very motivating. And if you don't know where to start, if somebody's already made like a template for you, it's a really good guide. So I'd highly recommend those. And it just makes it a bit more fun when you feel like it's a bit of a challenge and when somebody else has wrote it out for you. And number 15 is to make lists and tick them off once completed. So you, know, you could buy a really nice notepad. There's so many at home sense have some gorgeous notepads. If you prefer, you know, like a book style or a tear off style, get all the thoughts out of your brain, everything that needs cleaning and organizing, get it onto paper, make the lists and tackle it. You could even say, I'm gonna give myself three to four months, the first quarter of the year, and then you can review it in March or April, say, to see how much you've got done. Set yourself a task every week or every two weeks. You know, get yourself some nice pens and tick them off once you've done them and you will feel like superwoman and all organized. So they are my 15 tips for helping you get motivated to clean, to get up and get started. If you did like the video, I would love it if you could give it a big like and subscribe to the channel if you like cleaning content and organizing because there'll be lots more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I am trying to upload a few more videos in January, probably on Mondays and Thursdays. So yeah, I hope you stick around and I'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.